Columbia. I'm Sean Lee. Tonight on WXYZ, we're going to go to Columbia downtown where a student, a former USC student, threw a party last night. Um, experts estimate over $100,000 worth of damages, and there's already been three confirmed pregnancies. But first, let's go to Tyrone Jackson with the weather. Tyrone? Thank you, John. This morning, it was ice cold outside, much like the heart of my bitch ex-wife, but later in the day, it will get much, much hotter, much like my ex-wife when she goes to burn in hell. Uh, it will stay very, very hot throughout the rest of the day, so be sure to stay hydrated as you will sweat more than a Chinese child making soccer balls. No offense, John. Tomorrow, be sure to grab your umbrella, as it will be more wet than a virgin on her honeymoon. Back to you, John. Thank you, Tyrone. Okay, um, where were we? Uh, now let's go to downtown Columbia, where we're going to talk with Addie Beckham, who threw this party last night. Oh, it says here he prefers to go by Brosif Gaucher. Brosif, do you, can you hear us? Yeah, Wong. Well. All right, Brosif, uh, so what made you want to throw this party last night? Well, my parents went out of town and had some of my boys over, and... Rick was feeling squirrely, so uh, I figured I'd throw a rager. <laughs> feeling squirrely. Okay, so uh, do you realize how many people ended up coming to this party? A whole bunch. 50, 50 people is what I called, and they called 50 people, and those 50 people called 50 people, and uh, I think they called 50 more people, and hey, that's a lot of 50s, man. Not a clue, John. There were 3,000 people. There are upwards of 3,000 people at this party in downtown Columbia on a Tuesday night. You had 3,000 people come to your party on a Tuesday. Do you realize that? Nah, but I think I deserve an award, don't I? You have, uh, you realize you, you caused over $100,000 in damages to the city of Columbia? Not really. You... Don't feel sorry? You don't want to apologize? Nah. I'm just really sorry we didn't have a damn jacuzzi at that thing, man. Can you take your sunglasses off, please? Can you please take your sunglasses off? Nah, I really want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't, you can't take your sun, you, you, you don't want to take, why don't you want to take your sunglasses off? Because they're famous, Chief. So, Addy, what would you say to kids planning on throwing a party like this later in life when their parents go out of town? What would you say to them? Let me throw it for them, dumbass. Dumbass. You're calling me a dumbass. You won't take your glasses off for an interview, but you're calling me a dumbass. My six-figure salary, you're calling me a dumbass. You think because there's two cameras in front of us that I can't find you, I can't get to you? It's people like you that are bringing this world down. These little stupid sunglasses. Oh, let me wear my Hawaiian shirt. Oh, yeah, you look like a... F you look like an idiot. And it's guys like me who hire the people who later in life need jobs. But you think we hire people like you? You think we hire losers like you? No. You need to straighten up. You need to straighten up right now. Let's just, let's just cut that. Let's just cut. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. From all of us here at WXYZ, we want to wish you a very safe rest of your evening. And remember, always keep it classy, Columbia.